everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to reseed an aeroponic tower for the fall season. A lot accomplished, but I started cleaning out the tower garden. I got this far. And um, I'm getting going to be getting this replanted, but I like to take it apart and clean it. If you have a tower garden and you see this kind of rough this is just salt buildup and that's from the nutrient solution because the synthetic nutrient solutions are sodium based. And so that's all that is. It comes off when you wash it. So I generally just get all the roots out and then I bring everything inside and I scrub it down with some Dawn, clean the tower, and then I'll get the rock wool wet and, and then seed in. I'm actually going to do some broccoli and some other things. All right, I've got the tower garden pretty well cleaned up and now it's time to soak the rock wool in water so that I can direct seed. And you can see these rock wools are really perfect. They've got a hole right there. They fit right into the black basket. And when I'm seeding, I'm just going to drop one or two seeds into that hole, put them right into the white container and then basically just build it all back up and the seeds that I'm going to be doing I'm going to do some Paris lettuce some early green broccoli and some sugar snap peas I was hoping to do some cucumbers but I don't have any seeds left <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do these and it just occurred to me I don't have any packaged seeds of cucumbers but I did have a couple monster cucumbers that are already turning yellow that I missed that are really ideal for um, harvesting seeds from. So I went ahead and cut this one in half and I'm gonna go ahead and just try sowing some of these fresh seeds. Literally have nothing to lose and maybe another cucumber crop to gain. And if you've never done fresh cucumber seeds, it's they're really pretty obvious and easy you obviously want them to be whole, not compromised by a knife. And, you know, the more you dig, the more seeds there are. And I'm not even gonna take the sort of gel off. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew them just like this. So I'm literally gonna just drop that seed onto the rock wool. Focus, there we go. And I think I'm gonna do, I don't know, six or so. The ones that are closest, the holes that are gonna be closest to the arch. Of course, the other side of the arch has cucumbers and that was part of the reason that I wanted to do this. So it's certainly worth a try, I have nothing to lose at all. All right, finally filling the giant tank with water and nutrient solution is the last step. And I still have some left over from the tower garden. This is the all nitrogen 200 NPK. And then the mineral blend B is zero nitrogen, one phosphorus, one potassium. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour these in and I'm gonna fill the tank up to about, I don't know, halfway because none of these things are gonna have a root system as substantial as the tomatoes that we're growing here over the summer. I don't have to keep it as full. So the thing that distinguishes the tower garden as an aeroponic system versus a hydroponic system is this timer. And this basically makes it run for 15 minutes and then turns off for 15 minutes. And it runs continuously that way, 24 hours a day, every day of the year. 
Um, and you know, this isn't like your average timer. So you'd need to get the correct timer to create an aeroponic system. If you have any interest in growing plants in water, either hydroponically or aeroponically, I cannot say this enough. The tower garden is hands down the easiest, most efficient way. You see, it only takes like three square feet. And you can grow all these plants in, in that amount of square footage. I keep mine out year round. If we get really cold in the winter, I just unplug the timer so that the water doesn't freeze. Um, and really, I, I mean, I, I keep it going 365 days out of the year. And overall, it's uh, it's just one of these systems that I can't recommend enough. I don't know how else to say it. It's a really, really efficient way to grow food crops that you enjoy eating. So I have included a link in the description so that you can further explore what Tower Garden offers. And I hope you'll be inspired. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.